today's video, I'm gonna be doing a desk setup tour for 2021. I have a couple upgrades to my desk setup that I made within the past few months that I haven't formally talked about. So I figured I'd make a video, specifically a 1.0 desk setup tour video where I talk about some of my new upgrades. And the reason why I'm using the term 1.0 is because I'm gonna do a series of this type of desk setup content because one, it's really fun to make and I'm really passionate about creating functional, ergonomic and modern, aesthetically pleasing setups and you all have been really receptive to these kind of videos. Also, be sure to comment down below, subscribe to the channel and follow me on Instagram for a chance to win a Keychron K2 V2 keyboard. I've been using this keyboard for the past few months. And I'm gonna talk more about this keyboard later on in the video. The LG 34WN780 B34 is a mouthful to actually say, but that is the ultra wide monitor that I've been using for whew, probably like half a year now. And this has been by far my most favorite monitor that I've ever used. What makes this monitor so great to use, despite the fact that it's an ultra wide with a 3440 by 1440 display, is its ergonomic stand. The ergo stand allows me to extend, retract, swivel, change the height, and tilt the display, which allows for a more flexible and of course, ergonomic setup. Since the monitor isn't curved, I guess LG figured that, hey, we have to make this ergonomically friendly with this ergo stand because when a monitor is too wide, you can't see a large portion of your display through your peripheral, which is the whole idea of using a curved monitor that allows you to be more productive. The main point of this video is to talk about some of the newer items in my setup. I'm not gonna ignore the things that I've been using the past year or so, especially since most people probably don't remember what my setup entails along with those of you all who are new to the channel and this maybe is your first time watching a desk setup video on my channel but the first but the first thing that i want to talk about is this this jarvis laptop arm that i purchased from fully literally like i think two weeks ago the point of this purchase or this addition to my desk setup is to make it more functional you know, it's 2021, we've been dealing with the panoramic for over a year now and I have a lot of calls and I'm at my desk a lot. And my desk doesn't have a ton of depth and my previous monitor stand was trash. And this one's way better, it's a lot more minimal. It looks a lot cooler and most importantly, it's functional and I can just put my laptop out of the way as the monitor arm pretty much fades into the background. laptop arm itself is actually pretty easy to set up and fully gives you some additional mounting pieces just in case you want to use it as an actual monitor stand which is pretty cool because you get this like two-in-one arm for your laptop or another monitor also the jarvis laptop arm can hold up to 17 pounds so you're good if you have one of those alienware behemoths another desk space real estate saving addition to the desk setup is this surface dock 2 that microsoft sent me so shout out to my friends over at microsoft for sending this over for me to try out it works seamlessly with my surface book 3. this little brick that is quite heavy powers my surface with a 199 watt power supply and i also can charge my camera and other things via usb a along with my other important peripherals with usb c like my keyboard mouse and my iPad. So I used to use this other dock that was really bulky, but I love the idea of being able to charge your laptop along with other devices and being able to display your laptop with one simple device. It's a game changer. Honestly, a good dock is a game changer. I've been using the Keychron K2 V2 for a few months and something about the style and profile of this keyboard just makes every setup look more modern and aesthetically pleasing. K2 V2 configuration is RGB backlit along with having an aluminum frame. I'm not even gonna lie, I used to think that RGB backlit keyboards were really corny and super nerdy. I mean, I still do for the most part, but something about this design of this keyboard with like this minimal profile, this slate gray colorway, just looks really good. Like I mentioned earlier, 
I'm gonna be giving away a Keychron K2 V2 to a lucky subscriber that decides to comment and give me a follow on Instagram. It's kind of my way of like giving back. You all have supported the channel for the past three years now and I just want to show my appreciation by doing a giveaway. So I'm really excited to be doing this. Also keep in mind that whoever wins this giveaway is gonna be able to customize their keyboard to their liking. The Audio Engine A2 Plus speakers have been a great addition to my setup. I always tell people that a very underrated part of your desk setup are the speakers. Not only like from an aesthetic standpoint, because it kind of just fills the desk setup out and desk setups look kind of bare and boring and mundane when they don't have speakers. But also if you like music, they sound great. These speakers really fill up this space, and this is a pretty large space considering it's open concept. And I love playing lo-fi music in the background whenever I'm you know, studying or coding. And sometimes I just leave the lo-fi music in the background to remind me to relax and also gives me that like boost of energy and inspiration that I'm always looking for. The chair that I've been using for probably like almost a year now is the Autonomous Ergo Chair 2. I made an entire video reviewing this chair, so you can either click this link or go down to the description box. As you can tell, my desk setup is all about aesthetics with like a minimal profile along with it being ergonomically friendly, especially since I've been working from home for over a year now and will be working from home the next few months. But this chair is really flexible and it has solid back support. It corrects my posture and looks incredible in the gray colorway. I can honestly sit in this chair all day if my Apple Watch wasn't constantly telling me to stand up as if I were lazy. For my setup, it makes it look more modern since it's pretty futuristic looking, almost like a very fancy chair you would have in a rocket going to the moon or Mars funded by Dogecoin. It looks incredible outside. I'm not even gonna lie. It looks so inspiring, especially since the trees are starting to bloom. arm makes a huge difference when it comes to my desk setup because maybe I want to shoot some like b-roll shots of the desk like I've done a ton in this video or I just want to have as much space as possible. The next thing that I want to do in the 2.0 version of this desk setup series is to replace this desk setup with a standing desk. Now the standing desk won't be as nearly as long as this desk however I'll have more space for storage and to kind of just customize this area because since this desk is so long, it goes from the wall to honestly like a foot past where the wall ends and the window meets. It takes up too much space. Um, plus, I think standing desks are a lot more clean and minimal and I just want to take up the least amount of real estate as possible. Got this vintage t-shirt with the mountain lion, just like a mountain lion up here. And then there's like this mountain and the the mountain is a mountain lion or a face of a mountain lion so maybe it's a little overkill with the mountain lions but uh, i'm loving this single stitch vintage t-shirt i picked up at this sneaker event and i knew there was some heat lying around here somewhere yeah wifey got the dunk lows in black and white actually i got these for her but uh these look great i just found out that my pair here actually are way too small and I have to sell them to the local sneaker store but uh yeah that concludes this video be sure to give this video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe follow me on ig and comment down below for a chance to win the keychron k2 v2 custom to your liking and as always have a blessed rest of your week i will see you all soon peace